What's up, buddy? All right, got to do my slam now. Give me a second. Well, this slam's going to be interesting. It's going to catch me a uh, dogfish, potentially. <laughs> The funny thing, I don't even see an owner. All right, don't splash me, buddy. Oh, sh <laughs> Checking out the deeper right there. All right. Wonder if that's a lost dog or something. Just chilling. No owner in sight. Today's gonna be an interesting day, not because I just had a dog run through this small pond and stir up all the fish and spook him, but because I have my first ever MTB Pro Box. Gonna do a slam, middle of December, let's go. We're gonna do a little challenge for this month's MTB Slam. Uh, the goal is to find a dog that's lost and uh, give it back to the, I'm just kidding, no, it's not the goal. The goal is to find the smallest pond that you can and find and catch the biggest fish out of it using an MTB regular box or pro box that you can. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see how big a fish I can catch. And your goal is to beat me, post in the comment section below and see if you can do it. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, let's take a look inside my first ever MTB Pro. Let's see what we got here. What? Flash minnow, holy moly. They put a Lucky Craft flash minnow in this box. This is my favorite jerk bait of all time. Uh, I love using them during the winter. That bait alone is worth $15. That's worth as much as a regular MTB box. Holy moly. All right, we're, we're gonna look at the rest of this stuff later. I gotta tie this on and get fishing. Man, MTB knows how to pick their baits. Gave us a jerk bait for the winter. Uh, perfect color, a nice muted color. Great in clear water. Uh, imitates the bait fish really well because a lot of times bait fish lose a little bit of the coloring during the winter as they move deeper and uh, get less sunlight. Uh, excited to use this bait. Let's get fishing. There it is. Number one. That didn't take long. Oh, I hit it hard, but I think it's a small fish. Yeah, not a huge fish. We'll take it though. Oof, that was an awesome hit. Man, these guys fight so freaking hard, especially for the winter, it's incredible. Number one, nice little chunk. About a, about a pound, maybe a pound and a tenth or something on the pointer. Man, what I love about these Lucky Crafts are these oversized sharp treble hooks. If these fish even get close to it, I'll peg them. It's too bad. I, I could fish this uh, flash pointer all day long, but definitely gotta go through the other baits. And this fish has actually been caught twice before. Couldn't resist the uh, allure of the Lucky Craft flash pointer. Number one, let's go. Next up, let's see what we got here. All right, let me take a look through here. It's only uh, 8.30 a.m., so I'm thinking if there's more moving baits. We've got a pack of chunks, crawls, a shaky head, a jig, chatter bait, square bill. Whew. Good, good options here today. I think we'll go with the square bill and try to continue with the uh, moving bite while the uh, bite's still strong. Up next, we have the Excite Square Bill Crankbait. Another natural color pattern, great for the winter, great for these uh, finicky bass in cold water. And it's silent too, so it won't be uh, too offensive to the fish. It won't spook them off. I'm feeling good about this bait. There's one, holy moly, that's like three minutes into switching to this bait. Oh my goodness, I was a dink, but that was extremely fast on this Excite square bill. I was just slowly cranking along the bottom, doing a little bit of stop and go action. Oh, this is a baby, but that is insane how quickly I caught a fish on this in the middle of December. All right, this one is going into the tackle box for sure. Man, I got a couple nice, great new additions already with the uh, Lucky Craft pointer and the, uh, and uh, this bait right here. Whew. Nice little guy. He got some uh, 
sharp teeth right there, which usually means they haven't eaten, uh, they usually eaten bait fish when they have sharp teeth like that. But it's a little red, which is interesting. But I did just see a bass uh, chasing some minnows in the shallows, so. I mean, these fish are ridiculously healthy. I don't know what they put in this pond, but it's, it's growing some strong fish. Man, this rate, I won't even need to take my uh, McDonald's lunch break. I'll get this done. I've already got two bass down in the first 30 minutes. Let's see what uh, we're gonna go with for bait number three. Uh, I mean, I think we should continue with the moving baits because you know it's been working pretty great. So let's go ahead and use this uh, Z-Man Chatterbait. One of my, I have like 20 of them in my box already, so I'm very familiar with it. Let's tie it on and see what happens. All right, a half ounce Z-Man Chatterbait. Put on a little Zoom swimming trunk trailer. Let's see if we can't find ourselves a big fish. There it is. There it is on the chatterbait. All the better fish. Better fish. Holy moly. Right next to this windblown bank. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. Oh. What? Is it not that big? This is ridiculous. These fish feel, these fish feel like Eve. Every fish feels like a three pounder. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. That's how you break a rod right there. Ow. All right, yeah, these fish have extremely sharp teeth. Uh, if they're feeding on crayfish, their teeth will be grinded down. So it looks like they're kind of on a bait fish pattern right now. But they are still feeding close to the bottom, and probably pushing stuff near the bank and bumping their lip on the bank, chasing those fish. But uh, nice fish here. Nice little chunk, probably just over, tiny bit over a pound as well. Uh, I think I have bottom bouncing baits left. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, how they bite the, uh, I think I got the jig and the uh, packet chunk left. Let's go check them out. All right, what we have left, we've got the shaky head, the jig, and the uh, packet chunk left. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish the jig on the chunks, fish it at a swim jig, see how that works out. All right, we got the uh, black angel jig and the uh, net bait pocket chunk, both in a nice green pumpkin color, matches perfectly. And what I did is I cut the uh, packet chunk in half because I don't want a huge profile if I'm fishing a swim jig. And I, I've seen the bluegill in this pond, they aren't very big. So I'm gonna try to match the hatch, swim this jig, and uh, look for that big bite still. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to complete my MDB slam here. I'd really appreciate it if uh, you didn't disturb my fish. Are you listening? Excuse me. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate the uh, support there. See you later. Oh, is that a hit? Got him! Got him! Fish on! Fish on! Finally! Whew! Small guy. Oh my goodness. Had to take that weed guard off because I missed like four hits. Jeez Louise. Oh yeah, we'll take this. Another cookie cutter for this pond. Oh, this might be the biggest fish of today. Actually, I think I caught this fish in my other video. All right, let me see. Uh, I don't see any obvious marks, but I do remember a weird looking ass fish like this. And, oh, what? Wait, this missing chunk out of the tail. My buddy caught this fish. This, my buddy caught the same fish twice. Holy moly, I need to take a picture of this, guys. Yeah, my buddy caught this fish twice in a three-day span. Uh, now I've caught it. This fish is definitely not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Uh, let's go ahead and get a weight on it because this is my biggest fish today. All right, official weight for this fish, 1.61, 1.5. You got to subtract uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, so it's 1.5 on the dot because I didn't zero the uh, scale for the uh, lip grip. So exactly a pound and a half. That's the weight to beat so far. If you guys want to challenge me to this small pond, uh, MTB Slam. You can use either the Pro Box or the regular box. And if you want to see how small of a pond we're talking, check this out. To show you how small this pond is, I'm going to run one lap around as fast as I can using the stop clock starting now. Oh, stop the clock. Stop the clock. Around the pond, less than one minute. Whew. I'm a little out of shape. I bet you can't run around your pond less than one minute. But you might be able to catch a bigger fish than me. We'll see. All right, let's end the slam with a bang. Last one in the box. We got these uh, 
Mega strike, shaky heads. They make a great fish attraction too, guys. Let's go ahead and rig this up. I struggled a little bit getting that uh, four fish. So for this one, I decided to uh, rig up a uh, little zoom finesse worm on the jig head for a nice, subtle, natural presentation. And definitely check out that Mega Strike fish attractant. I use it for many years. It's a amino acid based fish, att fish attractant. And uh, I've seen fish hold on to it for like 20 or 30 seconds. So it uh, definitely works. Oh, there it is. Uh, that bluegill. Uh, something's running with it, I think. Oh, hook sets it free. Yeah, it's a bluegill. <laughs> I could I could tell from the uh, you know when a blue go hits that machine gun tap, but uh, not bad. I was only a few minutes in fishing with this worm. Got a hit already. Oh, that might be a hit. That's the bass running with it. There we go. Last one. There we go. Oh, that was pretty quick. This is officially my quickest slam ever. It took exactly one hour and 45 minutes. Get in the boat. I mean the shore. A little dink. Oh, that's awesome. Feels great to uh, complete my first ever MTB Pro Box slam. My first ever MTB slam was a little tricky. And this guy actually had a little bit of a messed up jaw. It's pretty interesting. Nice little dink to finish it out. Whew. Feels good to complete that slam in December. Cool water, the water is 48 degrees. The air temp's really nice. I mean, it's the mid-December. I'm wearing short sleeves right now. Uh, I'm gonna keep fishing because I can't uh, pass up an awesome day like this. But uh, thanks for watching and be sure to get out there and see if you can uh, beat my small pond big fish challenge. My biggest fish out of the small pond was a pound and a half. Take your MTB uh, box out there and uh, let me know how you do.